we are surrounded by claims and evidence. Everything we do is a question. Now, here's a common item that you use. I'm sure some of you will recognize it. It's obviously a bottle of shampoo. And that shampoo has got a number of claims. The key claim it makes is that it can guarantee that you can be up to 100% flake free. So you don't have any of this at all. <laughs> Now, it's got some terms and conditions applied to it. And the terms and conditions are that this flake freeness, it's only if you can see it from two feet away. So I'm just about getting in there, two feet away. And it's only if I use it regularly. So I'm not really getting a full story. Now, I've worked on evidence-based medicine for, gosh, over 20 years. I'm used to doing it. But to help me, I use a little theme called PICO, P-I-C-O. And that stands for Population, Intervention, Comparator, and Outcome. And we're going to go through these very quickly for my bottle of shampoo. So let's start out with the population. Who's been using this shampoo? Was it a lot of people? Was it just men? Was it people who actually had dandruff? I don't know. The intervention, that tells me about how this is being used. Now, it says use regularly. What does that mean? Does that mean twice a day? Because if it's twice a day, I'm not going to use it. So it's not going to work. Then we move on to the outcome, which is the thing we're really interested in. Because I want to know it's going to work. Now, it's got that little claim there, up to 100%. Now, that means it could be 100%. Brilliant, no more dandruff. But equally, it could be none, which means my dandruff is still there. And it's not giving me the answer. Now, dandruff, who cares? It's not going to kill us. It's not going to have any impact on us. However, we can start to look at that same PICO and apply it to medicines. So again, I'm sure some of you might recognize that. And look at the claim that's on there. It lasts up to 12 hours. What's it not telling me? It's not telling me if it definitely will be 12 hours or whether it might just be 10 minutes. And if I've got chronic disease or chronic pain, the last thing I want to do is miss my time for taking my medication. So look at our claims carefully. And congratulations, you're now all doing evidence-based medicine. Thank you.